The Sun also draws stands as the sixth installment of the inaugural season of the animated sitcom Family Guy, originally broadcasted on Fox in the United States on May 9, 1999. This episode centers on Chris's expulsion from the Youth Scouts, prompting Peter to embark on a journey to Scout headquarters to secure his reinstatement. A detour at a Native American casino results in Lois losing the family car in a gamble. Peter, masquerading as a tribal member, endeavors to reclaim it, leading to a vision quest to verify his ancestry and fostering a bonding opportunity with Chris. Penned by Ricky Blitt and helmed by Neil Affleck marking their debut on Family Guy, the episode features guest appearances by Susie Plax and Kevin Michael Richardson, Fred Tatasher, and Wally Wingert. Recurring guest voices include Butch Hartman and Patrick Bristow. Employing cutaway sequences that spoof popular culture, such as nods to Speed Racer, Happy Days, Nova, One Day at a Time, and the more you know the episode delivers its humor. Reception to The Sun also draws was generally positive, though some critics felt it didn't reach the heights of other season one episodes, finding it noteworthy and clever nonetheless. However, it also stirred controversy in Canada due to a closing gag where Peter disparages the country. It's worth noting that Ricky Blit, the episode's writer, hails from Canada himself. Chris, harboring a deep dislike for his involvement in the Youth Scouts, harbors a fear of confronting his father, Peter, about quitting. However, events reach a climax when Chris inadvertently causes the troop leader's injury during a soapbox derby resulting in his expulsion. Determined to rectify the situation, Peter insists on a family trip to the Youth Scout headquarters in Manhattan to secure Chris's reinstatement. Meanwhile, their articulate dog, Brian, finds himself ensnared in an unexpected mental decline triggered by an incessant broadcast interruption, rendering him unable to switch channels or power off the television. During a pit stop at a Native American casino, Lois's fleeting curiosity turns into a full-blown gambling addiction leading to the loss of the family car. In a desperate bid to retrieve it, Peter feigns Native American heritage, prompting skeptical elders to task him with a vision quest for proof. Accompanied by Chris, Peter's hallucinatory journey into the wilderness leads him to converse with anthropomorphic trees and envision his spiritual guide, Fonzie. Through this surreal experience, Peter comes to understand Chris's desire to pursue his passion for drawing. Upon reclaiming the car, the family engages in a lighthearted moment of dispelling stereotypes associated with various cultures before Peter concludes with a controversial remark about Canada. The Sun also draws Mark the debut writing effort of Ricky Blit within the Family Guy series with direction by former Simpsons director Neil Affleck, also making his first foray into Family Guy. Supervising directors Peter Shin and Roy Allen Smith, who later supervised other episodes, oversaw this installment. Notably, Alex Borstein, the voice behind Lois, contributed to the writing process, becoming the inaugural female member of the Family Guy writing team, Seth MacFarlane. The show's creator highlighted Borstein's invaluable insights into the character of Lois. Staff writers Andrew Gormley and Mike Henry contributed to the episode with Ricky Blit, Neil Goldman, and Chris Sheridan serving as story editors. The subplot involving Lois losing the family car draws inspiration from the 1985 comedy film Lost in America. While the storyline of Peter assuming a Native American identity to reclaim the car was influenced by real-life incidents, where individuals with trace Native American ancestry received benefits from affluent casino tribes. In addition to the main cast, The Sun also draws featured guest voices from actors Susie Plaxon, Kevin Michael Richardson, Fred Tatashore, and Wally Wingert. Recurring guest voice talents such as writer and animator Butch Hartman actor Patrick Bristow also made appearances. <laughs> 